Hello and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be something called the Sunday segment. This is because I appreciate you guys are busy people who can't afford to read and watch the financial news every single day. My job here will be to break down the three biggest financial news stories of the week and bring them to you to see exactly what has happened and what this means for your portfolio in the future. This week we're going to talk about Microsoft's proposed takeover of TikTok, how gold has hit all-time highs and how BP has cut its dividend in half. So let's get going with the video. As always, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any further videos. Last Sunday, it was announced that Microsoft wanted to take over TikTok's US, Australian, Canadian, and New Zealand assets. Over the course of the week, this developed into what could be a whole takeover of the TikTok company. But why has this become so significant and why has this all of a sudden become a huge news story? Well, this has developed over some time and is part of the ongoing trade war between the US and China. Since taking office, Donald Trump has really waged this war against China and has said that they've been using underhand practices. And as this has been ongoing, he's been putting tariffs and blocking different Chinese companies, such as Huawei, from government contracts. He's also blamed TikTok for spying on the US public, saying they're taking their data and passing it on to the Chinese government. But first, what is TikTok? Well, TikTok is a social media platform which is incredibly popular predominantly with people who are under the age of 20. It has 800 million users across the globe. It has become incredibly popular with people dancing on screen to short 15 second videos. Donald Trump and the US government have been concerned that TikTok has been mining people's data from their phones and then passing it on to the Chinese government as part of a spying exercise. This has not been proved in any way, but his concerns are really fueling a trade war between the US and China. So why does this matter? Well, the ongoing tensions between the US and China have been going on for a number of years, as I said earlier, since Donald Trump has taken office. This is because he's been putting tariffs and these tariffs have escalated between the both countries, meaning that goods from China to the US have been more expensive and China have retaliated in the same way. This tech escalation might really be putting China in the crosshairs for further escalation on its companies that provide services to the US. And equally, China could retaliate by banning more companies such as Google and Apple from its home market. This escalation does not look like it's going to come to any conclusion soon. There have been a number of talks between the two countries, but none of this has been resolved to any amicable resolution so far. Whilst this just affects the US and China, the two biggest economies in the world, other countries in the world will get dragged into this trade-off between the two. Already, when China and the US were putting tariffs on each other, German manufacturing got hit hard just because people in China didn't want to invest in any countries outside of China itself. However, one key winner of this whole debacle could be Microsoft. Microsoft, who have been reported to be paying $50 billion to buy TikTok, will just further its relationship with the Chinese government. Already, it has got close ties with the Chinese government as it is allowed to develop and sell its software in the country. Overall, this story is still developing. It could be a load of hot air from Donald Trump tweeting, or this could actually be the start of a full-blown trade war between the US and China. This is not exactly what the world needs at the moment as it's going through a pandemic. However, let's just watch and see how this story develops. We don't know, maybe in a month's time, Microsoft could have bought TikTok. Or, you know, it just continues to trade and be the social media platform for under 20s to be dancing on. Who knows? Next up, we have gold hitting an all-time high of over $2,000 per ounce. First, a bit of background about gold. Gold is a precious metal, as we know, and it's seen as a store of wealth. Because there's a limited supply of gold in the world, the price remains relatively stable. However, people flood to gold because it's seen as a safe haven, which means that people invest in it when there's a time of crisis or economic distress. This week, Gold hit an all-time high of $2,061 per troy ounce and ended the week slightly lower at $2,035. This year, gold has seen an appreciation of over 30%, which has outperformed all stock markets in the world. This is obviously a result of the pandemic which is going on. 
And central banks have been buying up bonds in huge amounts, thereby pushing down bond yields, making them more expensive, meaning that the price appreciation for bonds is decreasing. As gold is seen as a safe haven investment for investors, investors are investing into gold for many reasons, including the low yields on bonds and also the nervousness of investing into the stock market, who have regained all their losses since the start of the pandemic. Whilst the world hasn't really changed, investors are looking for safe haven investments, such as gold, to store their money, as they believe that cash is not going to be worth as much. Some people still think that gold has a lot more price appreciation to go. Right now it's just over 2000, but legendary investor Paul Tudor Jones believes that gold could hit $2,400 per ounce. This really is a huge story, as it really highlights the low yield environment that we're currently in, as bond yields are paying so little and the stock market returns are quite frankly questionable. However, should an investor go into gold right now, you really have to think whether it's the right time. Probably the best time to have bought gold was when the world was going completely fine. Maybe a year ago, when there was no pandemic, there was no oil crisis, there was no social distancing or wearing masks. There, the price of gold would have been significantly lower. Now, everyone is looking at gold as a safe haven to invest their money. Maybe gold has topped out, but who knows? But now the world is watching it. And you really have to be careful when the world is watching an asset or an investment because sometimes people can just flood in just because other people have flooded in or the fact they've seen a 30% return over the year and everything else has been virtually flat. And lastly, we're gonna to come to BP cutting its dividend in half. This is significant because BP is one of the biggest oil companies in the world. And this cut has been a result of two issues. Firstly has been the pandemic and secondly has been the oil crisis which has been waging. This is the first time in a decade that BP have cut their dividends since the Deepwater Horizon crisis. And it's even more significant as BP is one of the largest companies in the FTSE 100 and most reliable dividend payers, which means that a number of pension funds, insurance companies and endowments hold BP stock just for the reliable dividend that it pays every single quarter. The first key reason for the cut in dividend was the oil crash which happened in April. This was when Saudi Arabia and Russia decided to pump more and more oil thereby pushing the price of oil down. This was something that couldn't be seen and flooded the market with more oil than there was demand for, thereby pushing the price down. The second main reason has been the coronavirus pandemic. This is because demand for oil has dropped significantly. Global trade has just all but completely stopped. This has meant there's been fewer cars on the road, lorries, planes in the sky and boats in the sea. All of these use some sort of oil as fuel, and therefore the demand has dropped significantly. Since the lows in April, the price of oil has increased significantly. However, it's still below the price it was at the start of the year. Whilst this is a short-term drop in demand for oil, and when we go back to normal, it is most likely going to peak as people move and travel more, it cannot be underestimated when we're going to return back to normal. No one knows how long this pandemic is going to last, so we don't truly know if we will go back to the same demand in which we had of oil maybe last year or at the start of this year. This might be a good opportunity for governments around the world to pivot to cleaner forms of energy and thereby making this long-term investment into the future. This really puts a question mark on the dividends of some of these big oil companies such as BP, as they may not become sustainable as they move into a future world where people are focusing on green energy rather than oil. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this week's stories and any other stories in which you found interesting. As always, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.